The ruble has taken a terrible tumble in currency market. One Mexican peso is now worth five rubles, whereas a week ago it was less than half of that. But let's talk about Mexico's response. Now, AMLO doesn't usually get in too involved in foreign relations. He's only made trips in his presidency to Washington, so it seems like he just doesn't like to travel, right? Los colchones <laughs> están duros <laughs> en el extranjero. <laughs> or maybe he just doesn't like that places may not have his favorite stores there. No, I... <laughs> Miscellaneous in Francia. But he has sided in the past with some say are ruthless dictators who have destroyed their economies and quashed political dissent in their countries. But if there's an AMLO doctrine for foreign policy, it is that, that he believes in self-determination, probably due to his own experiences here in Mexico. He believes strongly in the power of the people to democratically elect their leader and detests when a larger foreign power meddles in the country's affairs. And this invasion by Russia, a much larger foreign power of Ukraine, is exactly that. The official Mexican response was delivered by Chancellor Marcelo Ebrard who condemned the invasion, arguing that it was a violation of international law and the UN Charter, also condemning it in the Human Rights Council. Mexico is currently a member of the UN Security Council and has been an active participant in this crisis. On Wednesday, Mexico voted with 140 other countries in the General Assembly resolution to condemn the aggression against, the, against Ukraine. So everything good, right? Woo! AMLO sides with the majority of the world, not supportive of auto autocratic oppressive countries, right? Well, not so fast. AMLO announced in his morning news conference on Tuesday that it will not impose economic sanctions on Russia like Europe and the U.S., citing that he wants to be friends with everybody. We won't take any economic sanctions of any type porque queremos mantener buenas relaciones con todos los gobiernos del mundo. Great, Mexico, the Switzerland of the West. <laughs> Let's see what we can do to make it Switzerland. We can put holes in our queso, maybe our grito can be modified to become a yodel, and we won't be able to get past the time thing, right? The Swiss are very timely, and that we are not. <laughs> But what does AMLO think should be done to stop Russia's invasion of a country with a democratically elected government? Does he think the condemnation was enough? Will Mexico send troops to stop the invasion? Of course not. Seems like sanctions are the only weapon the West has right now to stop Putin. So why did AMLO take this decision? There's a lot of questions. Number one, Russia has been assisting his leftist friends in Nicaragua, Venezuela, and Cuba, so maybe he doesn't want to anger them. He also mentioned in his press conference that he has not liked the fact that social media is censoring Russian state media. Let's add Russian oil giant Lukol just finalized the purchase of a 50% stake in an oil field project 42 kilometers off the Mexican coast. And also, is there a widening rift in how Abroad and AMLO want to deal with this crisis, sending mixed messages to the public? A lot of questions, not a lot of answers.